The only thing you can really plan on is a change of plans. Professional craftsman, you're probably gonna want to look away right now. It's pretty sketchy, even for me. Let's see how it did. It's pretty mint if you squint. What's up, Bug Dagudini in the garage? It is finally time to untable the table project. We've had this slab sitting in the garage for a month, so long in fact that we developed a few little cracks which then needed to be filled. Uh, so today we're gonna do some sanding on her uh, and then we're going to clean up these back edges. If you follow me on Instagram, you uh, saw that I was able to pull the rods out. We're not gonna keep them in, except for one down here. It broke off, whatever, it's gonna stay in there. Uh, so we're see, gonna see if we can jimmy jam some legs on there. Uh, but first we gotta do some finish sanding. I also have decided we're just gonna do the whole top with the 36 because I really like the way that rough look uh, is kind of utilitarian. This is not going to be a woodworking bench. This is going to be the ultimate mechanics bench. So sand her down, uh, drill some holes for the legs, mount up a vise, and then be done with this project. This was not supposed to be a three-part video, and it was certainly not supposed to take a month and a half of my life. So I'm going to suit up in my best coronavirus prevention gear, put the old porter cable to work, and uh, yeah, then we're going to move on. Let's do it. Well, as is always the way, the only thing you can really plan on is a change of plans. Uh, so we got her down to 36 and it didn't really look the way I wanted it to, so I'm taking it down to 80. But I keep blowing out belts and I'm just not sure why. I'm worried that the old girl, she's, uh, she's out of spec somewhere and I can't figure it out where. This is the last belt and I got about a third left to do, so wish me luck that we can uh, run through this bad boy oh, without Jimmy jamming through a whole nother belt. I'll tell you what. Definitely amateur hour, it's not the machine's fault, clearly mine. I just, uh, I'll be dipped if I don't know exactly what the issue is. Part of the issue is that she's jam packed full of dust. She'll dial to life, okay, almost done. Then the good stuff starts. All right, we're officially calling it. I'm tired of sanding. We are done with the top. Uh, we gotta clean up these edges because I uh, I totally hooped those perfectly drilled holes when I was spinning the wrench in there. Let's see, how should we go about this? I don't know that there's any other way to do it but to lay her on the ground. Here it is. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you one thing, this table's got some gravity to her. And what could go wrong? Lots of things. Let's see if there's any possible chance of this working. Oh. There's just no way around it. I chowdered the hell out of these things. Uh, that is going to be something that annoys me every time I look at this bench for the rest of my life. But, just is what it is. Too late now. Flip her over. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There we go. All right. And attack her from this side. That dust in my eyes. I can't see a fornicating thing. It is a very happy day. Save for a small amount of hand sanding. It will take place along the rough edges. We are done sanding on this table. Oh, I can honestly say I've done more sanding on this project than I'd like to do the entire rest of my life. Alrighty friends, our next task will be to finish breaking down these giant angle iron structures. Ugh. Additionally, if anybody's seen the uh, little spanner tool for my Hitachi death wheel, please send it my way. That said, trusty pair of needle nose does the trick. So, we gotta Zeus through these bad boys. Just a little bit, quarter inch, four by four angle iron. And these will be our legs. They're taller than I wanted, but for now I'm gonna avoid 
cutting them down. Uh, maybe at a later date we'll cut them down to match my stature. But for now, I think this is going to give us like a 36 inch table. I don't remember. Whatever. Lots and lots of cutting and spark flanging. Engage. Methinks we got every dime out of that one. Time for a new spinny wheel of death. Thankfully, oh man, come on now. Thankfully you can get these things by the bucket full pretty cheap over at Benchmark Abrasives. Uh, because if you're buying the Dewalt ones off the uh, shelf at the Hodipo, you'll go broke quick on a project like this. I really need to find my spanner tool. Where the frig is that thing? I should tie it to the grinder. Right? Because then I'll always know where it is. And I won't have to break my Leatherman trying to tighten this Jimmy Jammer down. All right, let's get this bad boy cut. Contact. All right. That was easy. I have. One leg oh, for our table now. Oh yeah. Huh, even stands by itself. That is just mint. All right. Oh man, this thing's got some gravity to it. We just gotta do that one, well, two more times and, huh, should make a bumper for something with this, right? What do you think? I think Willie, it's time Willie got a winch bumper. It's kind of silly he doesn't have one. Put this little honey aside for him. Alrighty, if you are a fabricator or an engineer or any other type of professional craftsman, you're probably gonna wanna look away right now because here's, here's my plan for drilling holes for the uh, leg mounts. We're going to use, I went long and hard. Do I go carriage bolts, lag bolts, or nut and bolt? I'm gonna go carriage bolts. Uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. Two carriage bolts per leg. Here's how we, we drew up a little template. Uh, there was all types of Uncle Jerry math involved, uh, but we figured out exactly where we want to put the two holes. But here's the thing, I can't just drill, obviously, a 3 8 inch hole straight through the metal. You know, you got to start with like an eighth of an inch and work your way up. So this is what we're doing. We're clamping this template in place. This has already worked three times, so I mean, it's not the most amateur hour thing I've done. And we're taking our 3 8 and we're just spinning her on there for a minute. Do the same thing over here. And there we go. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's two perfectly marked dimples. I can go in now with my, uh, probably start with an eighth, then go to a quarter, then finally the 3 8 because this is like, almost a half inch of metal here because it's two quarter inch plates put together. So I'm gonna do all that drilling. See you guys in probably like two hours. This is gonna suck. Alrighty, quarter inch, eighth inch rather go. So far so good. one seven more there's definitely a better way to do this if I had a torch I just burn right through it probably a step drill I don't have a 3 8 step drill so I'm just gonna do this for the next 47 hours and then I'll check in with you guys sometime next week all right well the eighth inch works so well we're gonna go for some uh, 13 64ths because everybody knows 13 64ths is the next logical step it's also the only one that wasn't all hooped to death I've literally never used the 1364th because why would I? So it was nice and sharp. It's gonna glide right through. Oh yeah, look at them chunks throwing chips. That's 
through the first bit. A little spritz of the good stuff, never hurt anybody. All right, stay. Und now. There it is, beautiful. Holy Halliburton, Batman, I tell you what, that just, that went better than I expected it to. So uh, we're gonna keep on spritzing and drilling. Hey, what's going on here? My spritzer stopped spritzing. Can't believe that worked. Uh, we got our uh, three eighths right here. We're gonna go ahead and jimmy jammer down in there and hopefully when it bites at the end, it doesn't rip the drill and the angle iron out of my hand. Uh, this would be a great time for a vise, but that's kind of why I'm building this table. So you get it, contact. Oh boy, this is not a sharp 3 8 <laughs> We may have a problem. Shoot, there's a chip in it. I don't know, you probably can't see that. There's a nice chip right there. I better have another 3 8 otherwise we're hooped. All right, I do have three other 3 8 This one is chipped, so get rid of that guy. I don't know why I kept them. These two look pretty dull. Uh, I don't know, I can't, it's always something, right? Is this the thing that's gonna stop us today? I don't know. Let's throw these in. See what this looks like. Let's try that again with a potentially, I could always sharpen them, but honestly, every time I try to sharpen these things on the grinder, they just end up worse than when I started. It's not a skill that I possess, though it is one I'd like to possess. Let's try again, contact. Nope, nope. <laughs> that, that's a nope. As soon as you hear that squealing, you know. All right. Now, maybe we have to take a trip down to uh, tractor supply. The problem is, currently New Jersey's lost its mind. Everybody's on, supposed to be on quarantine. Does this count as necessary travel? Hmm. I think it is. Worst case scenario, this will be a stopping point and I'll get it tomorrow. Okay, our, it's our final hope. Oh yeah, this one's real good. We got chips. We've got chippage. So if we take care of it and we give plenty of spritz of the good stuff, we should be able to make it through. Ha, tell you what. There we go. One down, seven to go. I just am not sure if this dainty little, it's definitely meant for wood, not metal, is gonna make it, but, well, nothing ventured, eh? All right, friends, we were able to jimmy jam through all eight of those holes there, which is honestly kind of amazing. I dare say, oh, we're on a bit of a roll now. Uh, time to drill our table holes. So we're gonna use our little template here and we're going to clamp it down to the table with these jimmy jammers. Now the trick will be drilling nice and straight so that everything lines up at the end. It definitely helps when your workpiece isn't level to begin with and you're a shaky monkey with a toolbox, but you know what? At this point in the game, we just gotta go for it, right? And away we go. That's what the big hammer's for, you know? If it's a little bit off, big hammer persuades it into place. Here we go, let's just drill into this beautiful table we've been working on. I mean, they look like they're in the right place. Let's see. Never mind the construction noises in the background. I'm pretty sure one of my neighbors is boarding up his house so that the uh, corona zombies can't get in. I guess I gotta line it up with the leg, right? It's easier said than done. This is a terrible idea. I got stuff all over the table. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess we could just go for it, right? Just lift the whole table onto there. I'll be dipped if they don't line up. I can't believe it. This measuring thing, I tell you, it works. It sounds like voodoo. Someone says measure before you cut or drill, but I'll be dipped if it doesn't work. 
To all you Vice Grip fans, I'm sorry that I just stole his phrase. You guys get real angry at me when I steal old uh, Derek's phrases there, but I was honestly dipped. Lined up first try, didn't even have to get the BFH out. I'm almost disappointed. Now, if you're wondering why I didn't countersink the carriage bolts a little bit so that they would not sit proud of the table, uh, there's a very good reason. It's because I didn't think about it until just now. So I kind of wish I had thought about it. Uh, that would have been a nice little touch, right? Just bring them down a quarter of an inch, but then you got a hole for stuff, places, dust, geez, amateur hour. A hole for dust and debris to get in, so maybe, maybe the first way we thunk it was the best way anyway. Let's go. All right. Now comes the logistical nightmare of trying to get the legs under here without dropping everything. A buddy would be great. Don't have any. I've got a dog or two, but uh, they are super uncooperative on stuff like this. So we're just gonna one man band it. I don't see what could go wrong. strange thing I'm trying to do right now. Will that sit like that for a second? <laughs> it's pretty sketchy, even for me. Let's see. We've officially run into our first minor issue. No bother. I'll tell you what, we're way off on that one. So we're gonna come back. We'll revisit that guy later. Let's get these other ones tightened down a bit. There we go. Something super satisfying about sinking a carriage bolt. little extra little extra gravy for you until we just start pulling the grain there it goes get this guy locked down where we think she ought to be and then we'll deal with the fact that this guy's nowhere near <laughs> the whole thing come out anywhere near where it's supposed to I don't know what we're gonna do about that yet but actually you know what it is this hole is wrong I can tell because the leg is crooked, so here's what we'll do. Do something like this on this side so we can work on this a little easier. There we go. Now we're that's thinking with your dipstick, Jimmy. Alright. One side down. Not by any means ugh, the easiest job I've ever done, but it's in there now. It's in there now. Oh, so this is how tall she's going to be. A little taller than I wanted, but not too bad at the end of the day. <sighs> okay, let's do it. Oh man, I tell you, these legs have some real serious gravity to them, which is good. Oh, when you're building a mechanics workbench, you want a nice heavy bench. Oh, which we have achieved here, I guarantee. one all right so it was just dumb luck that the first one we drilled happened to all line up because the rest of them are not it's okay at least we can get one carriage bolt in and uh, uh, at least it's in its table form while we figure out what in the heck we got to do to fix our issues Help a brother out and just line up for me, would you? What say you to that? Oh my 
my god, this table's heavy. <laughs> it's so heavy. I mean, this thing has all the gravity in it. Oh, it looks like they're gonna line up though. So that's this. so close just go in beautiful all right we're two for four with our drilling being lined up that's okay well there you have it we finally have a table my god is it heavy I mean it's heavy it's got gravity to it but that's good it's not going anywhere it's not gonna tip over uh, I'm not painting the legs because the amount of work involved to paint the legs, the uh, work for the return was not there. I've already got greasy fingerprints on it, that's awesome, from the WD-40. See how far off is this hole? Eh, it's off. It is off. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. And this one, oh that one's barely off. We can get that one. Let's do it. Alright, this little guy right there looking down is just the corner that needs to come off. So, uh, we're just going to send her down there dry and hope for the best. Oh, well, oh, that's great. That's the problem with these not for drilling. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Why would I do that? All the little metal bits in my fingy. Uh, that's the problem with these ones. They don't have the shank. It's, uh, what would we call it? Indexed, I guess. They want to spin. And I don't know if I can tighten it down anymore. Where's that? Oh, it's in my pocket. Duh. Shock key. Really crank it. Hey, hey! Well, would you look at that? Oh, what are you going to need rope for? That doesn't apply here, but it's fun to say. We have a tap, tap, tap a -roo. Beautiful. Okay, we are now only one. We only have one uncooperative leg, and since this shoved the drill down there and Jimmy Jam for the best worked on this side, we're gonna go give it a shot over there. And then we'll be, we'll be done. We'll just be done with this part of it. We got a mount of ice, which is gonna go right here, I think, actually. So I think what I'm going to do is just tighten these lags down until they're flush. Which isn't the right way to do it, but it is the way we're going to do it. Just sort of break through the grain until they're flush. Again, not the right way to do it, but it's certainly working. It's certainly a way to do it. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I don't hate that. Man, I get comments sometimes from like actual craftsmen and stuff on my videos. They're like, what the frig is wrong with you? Listen, man, at the end of the day, this is gonna be an awesome table. So what if it's not done the right way? It's done my way, it's better than the right way. We'll do this to the other side. Sending shall, give me this. What are you doing? Sending shall commence in five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Right, here we go. There we go. She's in there. Yeah. Got this little vise from Eric years ago. He gave it to me. He's like, hey, bud, I know you need a better vise. And I always knew I was going to build a uh, one of these workbenches at some point, so I never mounted it. I never mounted it. I never mounted it. Now we finally have the workbench. Now I'd love to avoid obviously having to drill through more metal. I think if I go right here, right there, we're good. Seems to be. Does that give us plenty of range of motion here? Oh yeah, all the range of motion. A nice vice. Uh, Littlestown. How and uh, Phoebe Company. Made in U.S. of A. It's probably an old piece. We'll dig into that a little more later. Let's. Um, how, sh how should we do this? 
let's see what what hardware do we get for this basically the same bolts instead of lag bolts traditional hex bolts they're way longer than they need to be which is fine probably could have gone the next size bigger but I didn't and that's fine uh, but I also should have got shoot I didn't get washers for the top and the bottom we got washers for the top. All right, let's uh, let's just drill some holes here. Here's a good way to mark these, since it really doesn't matter all that much. These are much easier. Get it kind of in the middle. Give it the old taparoo. Because there's so much play in this, this will be a fine method for drilling the holes. Right, right now. Oont. Now we drill. No wandering. Really want to get this one straight. Let's see how we did. Put the washers on the top. There we go. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, buddy. What a day. And there we go. This is delightful. You guys seeing this? Thought the camera had turned off for a minute. <laughs> Think, think, think. I bought an extra one of these for some reason. So we got one washer here for the bottom. Oh, you know what? I didn't want to lock these in yet because we gotta, yeah, we gotta um, seal it. All right, well, we know this is gonna work, so let's take this off. All righty, now we just took our, uh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? our blown out piece of sandpaper here and we gave it the last once over on all the edges. So that is nothing too dangerous sticking up. Uh, gonna get all the dust off it. As previously mentioned, we're gonna be using teak oil on this. Teak oil is, as the name implies, really good for teak and other very dense woods. Now, the astute viewer will be noticing that this is in fact a pine table and pretty much the opposite of a dense wood. Why then am I using teak oil? Because it's what I have. I don't have any more Danish oil or boiled linseed oil. I considered using 5W30. I thought that'd be kind of funny, right? Like just seal it with 530. <laughs> but I, that could, yeah, can you imagine? Uh, yeah, I chose against that for obvious reasons. So teak oil it is, I don't feel bad about it. We are going to shake thoroughly, move tools out of the way. All right, and hopefully I have enough left in here. We will find out, ply liberally. Can do. Get out of there. And I'm dead serious. I think my neighbor's building an ark or something. He's been hammering away over there for days. People here in Jersey really are losing their minds right now. I mean, I guess it's a problem. It's not gonna affect me. My job is considered an essential service, so I'll be going to work. All the rest of you are safely at home with your loved ones, trying to ride out a pandemic. So if you're not familiar with this type of treatment, it's gonna sink down in there. It's not really gonna be a glossy finish or anything. In fact, once all is said and done, you're really not even going to notice too, too much. Uh, but it will treat the wood. It'll kind of condition it, seal it a little bit, keep it from cracking. Let's pour a little more on here. Get a nice good layer, because this will be the only bit of care this bench is ever going to get from now on. The rest of its life promises to be full of automatic transmission fluid and welding sparks that was the whole point so i built it i built it to destroy it Alrighty, so we're gonna let this sit for a good half hour 
and then we'll come off and wipe off anything that's left and then that part of our journey is pretty much done. Well damn Sam, there you go, one mechanics bench, she's pretty mint if you squint, only took us a month and a half and three videos to get her done. Which brings me to my conclusion here, clearly this is not the most uh, time efficient way, it's probably not even the least expensive way to get yourself a bench, uh, but damn is it rewarding, you know what I mean? I highly recommend if you have the need at all, go ahead and build yourself a bench man. Look, this is just a tiny one, we could have made it even tinier. I was thinking about making one for Eric that's just like this big. Uh, super rewarding. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, by all means, leave us a comment down there in the squawk boxes. If you're thinking about making one of these tables and you want some guidance, I'd be more than happy to help you. Uh, I made tons of mistakes while I was making this, and look, it still turned out totally great. It's going to be awesome. Uh, there's little bugs stuck to it right now because it's sticky, so I'm going to have to move it inside. Anyway, by all means, leave us a comment down there in the squawk boxes. If you liked this video and this whole series of building a bench, by all means, like the video. That is common sense. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Consider checking us out on Patreon. Etsy and Teespring. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. What I really need now is somebody to help me move this thing inside. I'm, when I tell you this thing's got gravity, oh my god, it's got gravity. Holy Halliburton, Batman. Mm -hmm.